Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace has revealed that it signed a $49.2 million follow-on contract to provide additional joint strike missiles JSMs, for the F-35 Lightning II joint strike fighters of Japan Air Self-Defense Forces. Eric Lai, president of Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, was quoted as saying in a statement, the international F-35 user community is showing great interest in the JSM. Kongsberg is very proud to have been selected by Japan to provide the JSM for their F-35 fleet. Currently, there are no details available as to how many missiles will be supplied. Viewers may note that in March, the company had signed a contract to supply an undisclosed number of initial JSMs to Japan, and the value of that contract was not revealed. The new deal could lead to Japan acquiring a significant stockpile of JSMs. The important part is that the JSM is a dual-role weapon capable of anti-ship as well as land attack missions. The versatile missile is going to add a lot of teeth to the offensive capability of Japanese forces. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Japan acquiring the joint strike missiles for its F-35s will be a major threat to China. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Japan has watched as the People's Liberation Army Navy PLAN, has gone from a green water navy capable of operating only in regional seas relatively close to home to a full-fledged blue water fleet operating as far as the Indian Ocean and Baltic Sea. China's maintained very high economic growth over the last 20 years and has become a major economic power. It's spent heavily on military buildup and modernized its military forces. The PLAN is now considerably larger than Japan's maritime self-defense force in both overall tonnage and number of ships. China's rise, as predicted by many experts, is not peaceful. In recent times, China has been very aggressive in its posturing. Its activities are far off from being a sensible nation. China's corrosive behaviors in the South China Sea and neighboring areas have not gone unnoticed. Japan's been increasingly conscious of the fact that its territory, which is surrounded by waters, is vulnerable to naval strikes. Keeping this in view, one of Japan's top military priorities has been to deploy jets that can carry anti-ship cruise missiles. According to Japan's constitution, adopted after the Second World War, it is a pacifist country. Article 9 of the Japanese Constitution states that the Japanese people forever renounce war and the threat or use of force. It can be argued that acquiring the JSM is against the Constitution, but slowly but surely Japan's way of looking at this is changing in the face of the Chinese threat. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has long sought to enable the Japanese self-defense force to have a more aggressive role. A clear shift was witnessed when Japanese MOD decided to order 42 F-35Bs for Izumo-class aircraft carriers. This is the first time Japan will field a flat top with fixed-wing fighter jets with offensive capability. The JSM is based on naval strike missile NSM and is developed by Kongsberg in partnership with America's Raytheon. It's capable of anti-ship role as well as land attack missions. The development of the missile began in 2008 and was completed in mid-2018 after a series of validation test firings. It has a range of roughly 350 miles or 560 kilometers when using a normal trajectory, 
whereas a range of 175 miles or 280 kilometers when using a low altitude trajectory. The JSM carries a 500 pound or around 225 kilogram warhead, making it powerful enough to neutralize most targets. It has an elaborate navigation suite that includes GPS, INS, and terrain mapping. The terrain mapping feature makes it possible for the missile to find its target even if the GPS navigation is jammed. In the terminal phase of the flight, it uses imaging infrared IIR, seeker to home in on the target. The missile has a two-way data link throughout its flight. This allows it to be monitored continuously and gives the operator the flexibility to abort the mission or redirect the missile to a different target until the last moment. JSM is designed to be stealthy and very maneuverable, so it can approach its target from different paths, making it very hard to intercept. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which is a single-seat, single-engine, all-weather, stealth, multi-role fighter, is undergoing final development and testing by the United States. The Pentagon began the F-35 program in 2001 with an aim to develop a cost-effective replacement for the U.S. military's F-15 fighters, F-16 and F-18 fighter bombers and reconnaissance aircraft, and A-10 close-in support warplanes. Apart from the United States, the primary customer and financial backer, the United Kingdom, Italy, the Netherlands, Canada, Turkey now removed, Australia, Norway, and Denmark have also been part of the program. Japan and Israel are also in the process of acquiring and deploying the fighters. The Japan Air Self-Defense Force, or JASDF, currently has 42 F-35As on order. F-35A is a conventional takeoff and landing CTOL, variant. As per reports, around 13 have been delivered to date. One was lost in a crash during a combat exercise on the 9th of April. JASDF plans to ultimately field a total of 105 F-35As. Apart from these, 42 F-35Bs will be acquired. F-35B is the short takeoff and vertical landing Stovall variant. Japan will arm these with JSM and the different aspects are as follows. 1. F-35A The missile will fit in the weapons bay of the aircraft, enabling it to maintain its stealth profile. This combination will have a strike range of around 1,000 miles, which is sufficient enough to even target Beijing. This will be the most deadly adversary for China. 2. F-35B from Izumo-class warships Izumo-class currently has two vessels. Izumo and Kaga. Izumo class displaces 27,000 tons when fully loaded. These ships have a speed of 30 knots or 56 kilometers per hour. Each ship could carry around 20 to 22 F 35Bs. The missile will not fit into F 35Bs weapons bay since it's smaller than that of F 35As weapons bay. But even when externally attached, the missile will not degrade the stealth profile of F 35Bs to a great extent as it is itself built to be stealthy. With JSM, Japan is arming itself with a very flexible and potent missile. F-35s armed with JSM will be able to target not only Chinese destroyers and aircraft carriers from long distances, but also land installations. The hard-to-detect and intelligent missile will have a very good chance to evade air defenses and cripple the warships as well as land assets. China's aggressive military posturing may come back to haunt it if Japan restarts its militarization. It must be noted that Japan already has a strong military, though it's not gone all out in its pursuit. If Japan decisively takes that path, it could rise in a very short time. Another important aspect is the U.S. is Japan's ally and is bound by the Treaty of Mutual Cooperation and Security to come to Japan's aid in case Japan faces aggression from an external party. Considering all the aspects, we may see a major strategic shift in Asia where Japan prepares itself to mount a challenge against Chinese hegemony. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.